Hi, so this is Catalina and Aiden, and we're in Charles's Deep group. We are presenting a laser communication project. So the goal of this project is to use, is to make a device that uses a laser to transmit an audio signal a distance of 10 feet. And we also want it to be able to transmit the signal um, with minimal noise distortion. So how the device works um, is we have a circuit that starts with a microphone here um, that will have an input which is the, a speaker and it'll make an AC current which will go through this operational amplifier right here which is a differential amplifier that amplifies current and this current will go through this laser diode that is a semiconductor diode that generates and emits a light. And on this side, we also have a capacitor, which is going to separate the AC and the DC input sources. Um, then once it reaches this side right here from the laser, we have a photodiode that receives the emitted light and is going to generate a current, which is once again going to go through an amplifier. And this amplified current is going to be, go to a speaker for the final output. So over the course of this project, we ran into several issues. Uh, the biggest of which was um, the, the oscilloscope we were initially using uh, was broken and we were getting a lot of noise in our signals that wasn't actually there, which kind of threw us off. Uh, additionally, the audio amplifier we had on our photo diode side was not working as we expected it to and it was producing a lot of high frequency noise. Uh, but also, just the microphone and speaker we've been using, it hasn't been working properly, producing voltage. Uh, so we've done a lot of troubleshooting with those components, as well as just redesigning the circuits in general to reduce noise as much as possible. In the end, we did manage to get a working base circuit, but we haven't had enough time to add in a working microphone and speaker. In the future, we'd like to add in the missing microphone and speaker as well as switch to more permanent solderable breadboards and also redesign these wooden bases so that they're more stable and aesthetic. Uh, we'd also like to add in a low pass filter um, on our laser diode side to reduce some of the high, noise, high frequency noise we've been seeing. And we also want to add in a potentiometer somewhere to be able to adjust the volume on our output.